Coastal Carolina quarterback Grayson McCall has entered his name into the transfer portal. And it's honestly not a surprise. There are a lot of destinations that I really like. And we'll take a look at 10 landing spots that make a lot of sense. We'll start with sending McCall all the way across the country to San Diego State. Now, why San Diego State? I really like what Sean Lewis has done with his quarterbacks, both at Kent State and at Colorado. And I think that Grayson McCall would benefit from that system. It's a system that is pretty simple to learn. It's pretty easy and beneficial to the quarterback. And I think that the pairing of McCall with his talent, his ability as a dual threat, he's a good passer who can also make things happen as a runner. You look at what Dustin Crum did under Sean Lewis at Kent State. And I think if you can get a guy like Dustin Crum to be that good, Grayson McCall can be even better. At the FCS level, I think that there's definitely a possibility that Grayson McCall goes down a level. I do think he's more talented than that, but I think that he could go to Austin P. This is a team that is losing their quarterback this year, and they are really on the cusp of making the FCS playoffs. They are really close, and I think a guy like Grayson McCall could get them over that hump. North Carolina seems a little bit more unlikely now that Max Johnson is transferring there, but I still think the hometown element of that could be a factor here. Now, you could also see him go to NC State. So if you have either one of these here, I, I don't really have any complaints. I still think that it would be a good fit for him. I think that Chip Lindsay's offense fits Grayson McCall's skill set really well. So I still think even though Johnson is going there, there could be a quarterback competition. I don't think that they'd be mad about that. Yeah. But again, NC State with Brennan Armstrong gone, and now that M.G. Morris is in the transfer portal, would be another option too. Even though James Madison is losing Kirk Sinetti to Indiana, I still think that Grayson McCall could stick in the Sun Belt and, and go to JMU. When you look at what they've done for Todd Santeo and Jordan McLeod, I think Grayson McCall is better than both of those quarterbacks, and he could be even better. Now, you could still see an internal hire of Mike Shanahan, and the offensive coordinator there has been proven to elevate both of those previous guys we mentioned, and he could do a lot of good work with McCall too. UCF is a really interesting fit. I think that what they try to do on offense with Gus Malzahn is very similar to what Jamie Chadwell wanted to do with Grace McCall or, or did with Grace McCall at Coast Carolina before he went to Liberty. I think that's kind of a similar skill set that they're looking for, a guy who is really good at the triple option, really good at running the football. But I think that Grace McCall gives them a, a passing element that they haven't had. Auburn and Hughes Freeze is another one. I think that Freeze has a, a fun offense, an explosive offense that just needs a better passer, a better quarterback. They just haven't had that with Peyton Thorne. They don't have that with Robbie Ashford. And you get a guy like Grace McCall in there, I think the talent level would increase immediately. One of the better decisions that Mike Gundy made coming into this year was getting Al Bowman from the transfer portal. Now he can do it once again by getting another transfer portal quarterback in Grace McCall. Now this offense will feature Ollie Gordon. He is an absolute beast. And now you throw Grace McCall in there, the ability to run the football with Gordon and then the ability to expand the passing game. I think that he brings a, an upgrade in the passing game. And that's exactly what Oklahoma state needs. Michigan state seems a little bit more unlikely. I think there are other options that Jonathan Smith and that new staff will look at. And I do like what Jonathan Smith did with DJ Uyangalale. And I think that when you're looking at Grace McCall, I think that you're getting a similar skill set to that a guy who could really run that offense well, and I think would really thrive. Some of these at the end aren't necessarily the most practical or the most likely, but I just, I like thinking outside the box and thinking of what would be really intriguing to watch. And when you watch Kentucky, I think that Grace McCall isn't exactly a, a perfect fit to Liam Cohen's system, but I like the opportunity that he has to elevate that offense. They didn't get what they wanted in Devin Leary, but I, I think that Grace McCall could be really fun to watch in Kentucky's offense. I think that they have plenty of talent to benefit him and, and surround him with. And it would be really interesting to see what he could do with the Wildcats. Now, new coaching staff at Syracuse means that there's going to be probably a new scheme. And I don't know what that's going to be, but McCall would at least be a quarterback they could entertain in terms of getting a new quarterback in. They can get a guy that they really want, especially in the transfer portal era. And I think that McCall is definitely going to get a lot of offers. It's just a matter of which one is the right fit.